Hey guys, Insomnia here with some more AFK Arena. Today we're on the Light Bearer account and we have been saving our gems, we've been saving our stones, we've been kind of saving everything at this point. Uh, to go ahead and do some summons, they are on 15-8, they are further than any other team. As you can see, chapter 15 is completely empty. So let's go ahead and use all of our stones. Hopefully we get some Light Bearer heroes here. That is really the goal, which we do right off the bat. That is awesome. So we can try to get into Tassie. Tassie's always good. These teams at this point have unlocked all of the faction towers. So we do have a lot of stones that we get out of there, a lot of gems that we got out of there. Um, continuing to push the faction tower, I believe now the Light Bear team is on 21. So quite a few blues that we've been saving up. So making sure consistently that you're running the tower as far as you can. I've been pushing the labyrinth every two days, peaks of time I caught up, the bounty board, um, the arena, the campaign. I've just been stalled at right now just because we want to do all the progression and want to do it all um, recorded so you guys can see it all. So we'll go to the temple. We'll do an auto ascent first, which gets the tassie up. We do have two light bears there. So let's go ahead and do our summons and hopefully we can pull... A couple good light bearers here. I've been saving the scrolls from the dailies, saving the companion points, saving all of those diamonds. And also we want a lot of these um, emblems, primordial emblems and the middle emblems because we've been just kind of banking them at this point. Hoping that we get a hero up to uh, the mythic level, which is what we need our fodder here. So hopefully there, nobody from the light bearer faction there, but that's okay. So we get a Hogan there, and a Morvis up front. I've also been focusing in the store on buying, and there's our first elite, who is Aunt Tandra. So not much help there, but definitely for the Mauler team. And a second one. Okay, a Scrag. Mauler team getting a lot of love tonight. Got a Tassie, two Maulers, and a Light Bear, which is just fodder. Like I said, at this point of the game, uh, fodder. We do have the... There's another Elite. We do have the new event that's coming pretty soon. Another one. So we have her to Elite Plus. And any of the off-faction heroes, the Maulers, all of them, um, it's just a free-for-all. I've actually been getting them up to make sure I can get the Bounty Board. Because I think a hero like... Um, and Tandra, I'm not going to use. I've, I've used her on the Mauler team, and she still is on the Mauler team. Haven't seen much success with her. So let's go ahead and get some Ascended Heroes up here. But Scrag definitely use. Two more, three more Light Bears there. So we'll be able to at least get some, should be able to get some Ascended Heroes here. Hopefully getting someone else to that Mythic level. And another Elite, which is... Very nice, Rosaline. The Rosaline Belinda combo is uh, true. If you if you're not using it, definitely try it out. And with all those summons, we do get a card on the table for our light bears. Okay, copy of Falks, pretty good. Then we'll go ahead and we will do our companion summons here. And if you notice, the little bottom says Stargazer, but I can't use the Stargazer yet. I believe this account does have ten cards, and look at that triple. Triple cards right in the middle. Um, Stargazers completing chapter 15, which we're, we're, we're getting there, little by little. So in the store, I've actually been buying a couple of the cards. I've been buying the Light Bearer cards, which now I have enough here, um, just for the fact of getting fodder up. Even though you can only buy them once a month, I bought them there and I bought them here in the Labyrinth store. I bought the Light Bearer card. And I believe Challenger Store, we don't have enough to buy another copy of Falks. So let's go ahead and unlock Angelo. All right, so let's take a look at our team here. So we get a Rosaline up, we get a Falks up, get a couple more heroes up. All right, so let's take a hard look. Let's see if we can get up some, some heroes here. And I've kind of been debating whether I wanted to go Lucius or I wanted to go um, Hendrick. But let's see what we have for fodder, which we only have one right there. 
Double copy of Roslyn, double copy of Estrilda. So we do already have a copy of him, so we'll be able to pull another copy. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll get another copy of him. All right, so that'll give us two to ascend for him. And I believe we do need one more copy. I think I'm, yeah, I'm looking at the count and I think it's gonna be one fodder short. Because if we get her up, she will actually be the fodder for the team. We'll get her up one more. I don't believe we have any copies of Hogan yet. Nope. So we can actually get her up one more time and then make her Elite Plus. So we have food here. Um, I just needed one more copy to get her up because we can use Angelo, but once we get her to Legendary, to get her to Legendary Plus, I do need one more, unless I'm gonna go ahead and use Rain. And if I use Rain, then who should I get up next? I'm thinking Lucius, because I do like his signature item, but I would also love to get up Rowan, just for the fact that it's Rowan, and I do use him regularly, especially in the campaign. I know if I got him to Legendary, I don't believe I have another copy of him. Nope, I need one more copy of him to take him to Legendary Plus. So if I took him Legendary, he would just sit right now. And the same, I know Rosaline is strong. I know Lucius is very, very solid. But right now I do have three tanks, which Estrilda or Hendrick I'd like to use for food, but... Again, on this account being light bears, we are going to save any of the heroes that we can get up. The only one that we did use for food was Rain because she is one that we can buy. But I'm thinking at this point, we just need one more, actually just a, just a couple more cards, a couple more um, elite or elite plus cards. We could get a lot of or get another hero up. Which would be nice, which I might just use Lucius. Which I think, because we can't get him up, we need the uh, Legendary Plus. So if we use Rain, we could do Legendary Plus. And then we could get him up, which I think we'll go ahead and do. I know we used, we used Rain before, just because I don't want to be a, uh, stuck here again so rain it will be if you've ever used rain um haven't really seen anything come over i have her three stars on my main account but to just help progression here because i do want to get lucius up to unlock his item we'll go ahead and use the food there so now that eats up just about everything we have and there is his signature item Signature item on him is very, very strong, so that will unlock that. And we still have a very solid team here. So we'll go ahead, and I believe we do have enough to get him up, which would be awesome for the team. We might even have enough to get him all the way to 180. We'll go ahead and max his item as much as we can. And if you look, enemy heroes that have their energy recovery effects reduced by 30% for 4 seconds when they are struck by Divine Strike. And he does get a significant amount of... A significant amount up when we do his signature item. Hit points, attack, defense. Some are just hit points and attack, but he does get all three. I believe we might almost have enough to take him all the way. Yep, item number nine. So that is a huge, huge upgrade for this team. And that unlocks the maximum shield, so 550. So we did unlock a couple of heroes there. We got some gems. So let's go ahead and do the campaign push. Um, I want to do the campaign push. I want to do the tower as well, because I believe 
with this team comp. Um, just like I've said before, we put Hendrick, we put um, Belinda right behind Hendrick because Hendrick will actually knock back the other target. Not sure if he'll do it to Cass, but most of the time he'll knock back the target, grouping those three right in the very back for Belinda's alt. When she alts, it usually kills all three of them. Rowan there for support, and Lucia should be able to, especially with a higher level signature item, just be able to destroy some heroes as well as just keep the entire team up with that 550 shield. And I love Hendrick's AoE stun. It's such a wide radius on his stun. And of course, Belinda pulls out five stuns there, or five uh, kills on that one. If you guys checked out the recent video with um, some of the, the, the patch that's coming, there's a lot of stuff coming in the patch, especially with the Elder Tree. So it'll be uh, very exciting to see pretty soon. I believe it is dropping tomorrow. If I read the date correctly, I believe it is tomorrow on the live servers. So you'll be able to level up your Elder Tree. Um, and then usually later in the day, you'll get the ability to do the Voyage of Wonders. Voyage of Wonder this time, very, very disappointed by it just for the fact that it took me probably about 15 minutes to figure out i did a video on that a little bit earlier today but took about 15 minutes it only has two crystal chests and it only has i believe six or no 12 it's either six or 12 um chests in it total so not very much loot and it was pretty easy to get to i did it on the test server didn't even find any issue with any of the battles Actually just ran right through them. And look, it doesn't even take her alt and she takes out the entire back row. That is just the power, which I'm not sure I should have looked to see if we got any of the sigils to level her item up. I believe it's on 18 now. So her signature item is almost to level 20. So what I'm thinking on this account is I'm going to, I know even though it's a, a little bit of a smaller account is with the new event that's coming, with the um, Brutal Rage, I'm going to go ahead and get the red chest just because I know Belinda is going to need the red chest really, really soon. Because just from summons alone, I should be able to go ahead and um, get her signature item to level 20. So I did pull the red chest from the Ishmir event. I believe I pulled 80 of them already, so I should be able to get her signature item up quite a bit. And the goal really focusing on these teams is once one hero has their signature item up, um, focusing 100% on that hero until I have enough essence or they, they go over the 10, 20 mark. So for instance, right now when Lucius hits 10, um, I'm gonna keep pumping all the gold uh, emblems into Belinda until she hits 20 and then I'll transfer to Lucius and then the next hero that I actually get up to the mythic level will receive all the um, all the emblems and so on and so forth with the teams. Seems like building one hero at a time like I, I don't remember I know they I think they did nerf it a little bit um, but I don't remember progressing anywhere near this fast on my main account when I when I was coming through here. But now I mean knowing the game really well, knowing the components, even the kind of skill build, because even there, I mean, Belinda takes out everybody combined with Rosaline. And she would be crazy right now if I would have went ahead and got Rosaline up just for the fact that her signature item will give Belinda more power, actually helps them share power. So they'd just be destroying the campaign. And I've noticed too, is with Shamira's um, silence there, I thought it would hit Belinda, but every time that they've been using it, it hits Rosaline, which is fine by me because Belinda can still cast, but it's been hitting Rosaline. As you can see, she is just absolutely dominating at her level. I mean, she's just, even her divine light is just usually killing the entire back line if they're over there. Let me look at some of the damage she does. she's doing because it seems like she is going to be the complete carry as of right now. 
Rowan did zero. So Rowan never even hit anybody. Look at that, 45K, 13K, 30K, 1.12 million. Yeah, I, I'd say at this point she is kind of the carry. But like I was saying before, see how, how Hendrick pushes, um, push Brutus right back is she stacks the back line or he stacks the back line for her to alt, which is just so strong. There's not even anything now that can come close to surviving her all 1.26 million. So if you want to know how to push some uh, progression through the campaign pretty quick, just build a Ascended Belinda and she'll pretty much just carry it by yourself, as you can see. I mean, most of the stages are only taking 1.27, are only taking about 10, 15 seconds. So even here, Hendrix stacks up the back three. Even with her small AoE, she's taken out usually one or two. And again, a 14 second stage. So we are pushing right through chapter 15. And it is the light bearer day. Um, I like doing the teams on the day that it is, just in case I finish a chapter. Because it seems like if we go ahead and finish out this chapter, we're going to have scrolls. We're going to have a ton of gems. We're going to have some faction scrolls. We're going to have quite a few, quite a few things from this. And if you don't know by now is the, uh, the Belinda Rosaline combo for even ice Shimira for a lot of the guild ball, well, the guild bosses, um, the combination is just absolutely devastating when it comes to the amount of damage they put out combined. Even there, I mean, 1.2 million. Nobody is even coming remotely close to where she's at. And that's really the power between being the Ascended level, between the Elite to the Legendary to the Mythic uh, to the Ascended. Um, anytime that you're raising their Ascended level, it gives them, I believe it's a 20% 20, 20 bonus. Because even her normal attack is almost taking out Shamira right there. And thank you guys a lot for the um, all the support in the channel and the comments. Um, everybody said use Hendrick with Gwyneth, which is pretty strong. Use Hendrick with Belinda, which as you can see is abs absolutely working perfect. Because even her Divine Rep Retribution ability, as you've seen there, almost took out Savius just as a bystander at that point. And I do want to keep Estrilda around. I know I do have the three tanks with Hendrik, Estrilda, and with Lucius, just because Estrilda is a huge damage buff as well. So there are a lot of situations where you do need some more damage, need some more energy, and he fills the slot perfectly. Or she fills the slot. I apologize. I know it is a girl. Um, yeah, she has the ability to increase the attack rating and do the energy regen. And even with her signature item unlocked, makes it uh, makes her pretty strong. A pretty strong um, buffer to the team, similar to the twins. Yeah, and she's even altered to kill the target before her 1.5 million. If you look, 44, 19, 20, and 42. So she is not even giving anyone else on the team the ability or the chance to do any more damage. Wow. Super impressed with the Light Bear team. I knew Lilith loved him, but I didn't know uh, just how much. And even there, two ads come up. She 
takes two ads right down in one shot. All right, so almost done with 15. Got a couple more stages here. And even the combo with Hendrick and the amount of uh, stuns that he does. That's what makes a lot of heroes so powerful, like Pharrell. He has a like a two-second mini stun when he does his horrify ability, as you've seen right there. Hendrik, he horrified. Um, Belinda, he horrified. Rosaline, he horrified. So they literally just kind of stutter for two seconds while they stay there. And even here, big combo over there. Almost took everyone down. And there, Belinda got... Uh, silenced, which is okay. Got our massive, massive Lucius shield up with his mythic plus a signature item. All right, finish out chapter 15 just like that. So they're actually going to be pushing into, I believe, 16-4 is the mythic gear from AFK Rewards. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it's 16-4. Don't quote me on it, but I think think this is where you start getting mythic gear from AFK rewards. And if you've seen one of the first mythics that I pulled um, using my guild points, our guild coins was, of course, the mythic light bearer staff. So when I start getting into the now, now it's called T1 gear, but the mythic plus gear, um, I already have her staff and I believe it's already five stars. So another reason she is doing so much damage. And when you start getting your mythic gear up to the T1, to the tier one or the tier two, um, huge, just absolutely monster increase in stats when it goes from playing mythic to the tier one gear. And here is 16-4. Tough teams, when you look at Laika, Grezel, Shimira, Estrilda, I mean, it's a pretty tough team. And I love Hendrick's ability, how he is back there guarding Rowan. Because Rowan is such a vital hero. And that's because he's only elite plus. Uh, runs right to the back row to guard him, making sure that he does not die. Lucius there gets his shield up pretty early. Here comes the ult. Took them all out. 1.36 again one shot there one shot from Melinda just took out Savius just she's just amazing and that's the reason why when it comes to um, getting towards endgame most people have dropped Shamira I know Shamira is capable of doing similar to this um her survivability is a little higher but when it starts getting towards end game belinda does a lot more burst damage which has the ability to take down targets a lot faster and she has the ability to buff the team so not only is she buffing her attack she's buffing rosaline's attack as well so it's kind of a kind of twofold And even all the Nemesis totems get altered, which are already dead. And Rowan's not even getting a chance. 1.58 million. So 16-10. Doesn't even seem like it's slowing down, though, either. I mean, not just our damage, but the, the progression or even the timing. And the Light Bear team has been kind of the front runner for a while. I mean, I know Silvana's pretty tough. I think it really started where Lilith was giving away the Light Bears at the beginning. I believe I got a copy of Lucius that way. Um, I know after five days I got the copy of Belinda. Which one more copy I can get her to one star, but one star is 
pretty, I, I mean, it's, it's a 2.5% buff, which isn't very much, but I think I'm going to save the other copies possibly at this point, just to use for food. Once I get them to ascended, because once I have a team of ascended heroes, then I can really focus on getting them up and Hendrick goes down there. But I think we still got this pretty easy. And we are pushing through a ton of stages. For a lot of people who have been writing and wondering how we can uh, push progression. Well, as you see it here, get an Ascended Belinda. You can just pretty much go through, it looks like, a lot of the campaign. And there Hendrick runs back, blocks him, gets shielded. This team just has so much synergy. Because when you look, Hendrick is there for stuns, there for the knockbacks. Um, gets a lot of shield. Rowan's there for the support, gets the potions. Uh, Rosaline is just there as a huge buffer to Belinda for her alts. Belinda in turn buffs the team, doing more crit, doing more damage. As you can see there, she's actually buffing Lucius. And they do have the ability to use, I believe it's a Divine Retribution ability, um, Belinda's ability to fire that little orb. Wow. 1.44 million. 16-18. So Looks like the teams are getting quite a bit tougher. Lucius is just kind of holding the line. He's not, not pushing anybody back at this point. But even before the uh, shiny orb of death is getting there, she ults. Just kind of the, the double whammy in the back. Rosaline's running around like crazy for a minute. Even taking down tanks. Sixteen dash twenty. So now we're getting into some of the. This is a tough combo because the uh, Sylvana combo with the Isabella combo, they both do a lot of burst damage as well with Veden and his bat form. But I think we still got this as soon as he comes out. He gets ulted. 1.6 million damage. So I think at the end of this, uh, we might do a couple more summons because I think I'm going to have quite a few scrolls. A ton of diamonds. Last push we did, um, we got a lot of diamonds and a lot of scrolls. And even here, I mean, we're at 1847. But even for finishing some of the chapters, I'm not sure what heroes we'll get. But we do get the, now we get the VIP experience for finishing chapters. Which was a very cool add to the game recently. And if you hadn't seen um, the Brutus skin, they actually took the stats off it. A lot of people were giving a ton of feedback. And if you play any other idle games, a lot of them that have um, skins, have skins, have avatar frames, um, a lot of them that do have stats, the games have decided them it's kind of pay to win. Because a lot of the, a lot of the skins you can only buy. They can't be achieved, they can't be earned. It's not like a currency that you can buy from an event. Um, some of them were based just on PvP rating, so if you're really good at PvP or really high in PvP, you're that much higher because there's certain skins and avatar frames you can only get because of the rank that you're getting in PvP. I know it's, it's a lot of work, but a lot of it comes from a lot of money, so very excited to see. I, I think the cosmetic effect is very, very cool. Brutus looks super tough with his uh, suit of armor. So I'm happy to be getting him, and I believe I have enough 150 heroes on all the accounts now, all the faction accounts. 
Even Hendrix hold the line ability. Look at that. Just puts both shields into the ground, regenerates his hit points. Lucius tosses him a nice heal and a shield. Plus, he's got Rowan's potions in the back. And I cannot wait to get Rowan his energy potion. Hendrick goes down pretty easy there. Hopefully, we can keep the rest of the back line up. Linda just takes out the entire team. So 16-28, so more than halfway through chapter 16, which I believe we just started on 15, so this has been a chapter and a half already. I believe we're pretty close to that. And Lucius does go down on that one. So enemies getting significantly stronger here. As you can see, Lucius is uh, falling back a little bit, using his heals on himself, using his shields on himself, using his potions on himself. He's uh, doing anything to keep alive at this point. And even Hendrick still goes, oh, Hendrick didn't. He jumped in the back and they got a shield. Look at the radius of Hendrix's stun. So one thing I love is that stun. I mean, it is a huge radius that he has on that thing. Rowan almost goes down there, but Hendrick coming in for the save. Shields everybody till we get his hit points back up. Even Lucius throws him a quick heal. Again, just the, the ability to carry the team straight damage. Silvano was trying to kill him, but no luck there with Hendrix stepping in. It's 1.57, and Hendrix did zero. So absolutely no damage, even though he didn't die. So 16-33. believe we're turning the corner to uh, finish out this chapter as well. Which seems like once we're picking up a little progression like this, it's going to go a little bit faster because now this team is not only going to get more, more gold, more experience, more AFK rewards, is they're going to get better gear from the rewards because they are so much further in the campaign. But also Light Bears have been just a super solid faction. Ever since I've been playing this, they're the very, very strong faction. They have one of the best DPS in the game have multiple, multiple support classes, got some good CC classes, good tanking classes. And keeping up the uh, five, the five faction bonuses. And that was the other reason why I wanted to keep these accounts uh, faction specific, because as you do get further in the campaign, the faction bonuses have just more and more of an impact. Because if you're getting a, I believe it's 25%, 25% attack and hit point buff. So not only is Belinda doing a ton of damage, but she's getting a 25% bonus just because I'm running the Light Bears team. And that's also what makes the Celestial so strong, is if I'm taking out one of them and dropping into Celestials, we're going to maintain the bonus. And again, these teams are getting a little bit tougher. And then we're still getting them down, just overrunning them with DPS. Very nice. 1.450 from Hendrick. 16-39.
I honestly did not think they were going to push this far. She is still just destroying the campaign. 16-40. And I think, like I said, um, getting the, the red boxes to get up her um, signature item. Because with her signature item at level 30, she actually re regenerates. Uh, so that is going to 60. She regenerates, I believe it's 40 energy per attack. I believe, I'm not sure, I think we do have enough to get her up. Yep, so we get it to, her signature item up to 19. Um, yeah, restores 40 energy each time an ability is used. So every time she uses an ability, she will actually go ahead and regenerate energy. So just the combination of her with Rosaline, with Rowan, and the ability to regenerate her own energy with the amount of damage she does is just going to be uh, i mean in my opinion unstoppable almost and as you can see now 17-2 we were on i believe 15-8 so i'm pushing two chapters And even if you look at the heroes that uh the hero levels of the ones around me they're significantly higher in the same campaign now just because we've progressed so fast with these accounts i'm fighting fully ascended teams here which this is when they start getting tougher especially when they have a faction bonus and they have the healing classes. We should still be able to get this one down as long as we can get some alts off. Yep, we got them down. As you can see, the, the campaign's actually getting a little bit more difficult, but 17 5. Silvano runs right over to kill Lucius, and Isabella takes out Hendrick. I think I think we're getting closer, but double alt. Lucius heals himself, shields himself, so Veden can't do anything when he comes up because everyone was shielded. And now we're getting into the Arden CC, and that oh maybe nope. All right, so that will conclude it for the Light Bears. Holy cow, 17-6. So go ahead and collect up some gems. We went all the way through 15, got quite a bit of gear. All the way through some of 16, all the way through 16. Into 17, and there was some. We got a copy of Rain as well. So that it will sum it up for the light bears and look at that huge, huge push. Like I said, look at her um, items that we have and we almost have enough to get her up to the 20, which will bring the potency to 80% and then focusing on the red chest, which I did get quite a few red chests. Um, we actually just got that leather armor. Um, I got those red chests when we did the ice shimmer event. And I still do have, actually, my Stargazer cards, which I believe we can use now. Yep, which we can. But I'm going to save them for next time. I'm being conscious. I'm saving them. We do have 28 summoning scrolls as well. So Light Bear Team is going to get a lot of love, especially with those 20. Uh, Stargazer Room is going to guaranteed pull. I've never, ever pulled on this account from Stargazer. None of the faction accounts. So I have my 10 cards, so I should be guaranteed 100% hero. Let me know in the comments what hero I should get because I'll be guaranteed pull for Stargazer. And this one, um, that's just the rest of the team, which we'll go ahead and Sparta send. So let me know in the comments just 
absolutely phenomenal push there. We pushed through over two chapters. Wow, I, I'm just still floored. We're on 17-6. So now we'll actually be getting, um, getting all of our fragments now. We should be getting our um, mythic gear. Not sure what else we get pushing to 17, but very, very excited. Let me know in the comments what you think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.